Hi everybody, this is Mingla. My real name is Mandy Wu. I spoke at United Nations two times, and here are the pictures. I will also attach my UN speaking video later on in this video, so keep watching. And I will share with you my experience at United Nations speaking there and how my dream came true how to speak at United Nations. Right now, let's go! Um, anybody recognize this building? United Nations building. Okay, so um, just now for my parents, the two people on the left, he, uh, they brought me from China to New York City. And the United Nations was one of the places that I visited uh, at the forest uh, with my family. And I thought to myself, one day I'm going to speak here. And years later, my dream came true showing the safe back life design. Uh, at UN. This is the first time I spoke there, and that's the second time I spoke there as a young woman, as an economic force in the Commission of Women of Commission Status of CSW, Commission Status of Women uh, uh, in 2017. So it was a huge honor for me, and it was on UN Live TV. Uh, so what I did was uh, I did a vision board. I put a United Nations logo on my bathroom mirror. Every time I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I just keep looking at it. <laughs> subconsciously thinking, I need to go to UN somehow. So I went to uh, eventbrights.com searching for United Nations events. And there was a youth day opening. So I just registered myself. I went there. Then uh, I met the leader, introduced myself, and uh, one day he asked me, uh, "Do you want to uh, become the uh, speaker at the Young Entrepreneur uh, Panel at the UN?" I'm like, "Of course, I really never asked." <laughs> <laughs> so that's my ultimate goal. So if there's anyone you really look up to on uh, Facebook, Twitter, you can just message them or message the people around them. Try to see if there's an event they're going to. You can just I'm extremely honored and extremely humbled to be here to uh, join with the incredible leaders at the panel and meeting you all as the young leaders from around the world and around the country. You guys will change the world. Don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. Um, learning from the best and speak up about the issues you guys have. I will introduce myself first. My name is Mandy Wu. I'm a teen girl bag designer. I graduated from Parsons, and I'm the first designer to be featured in Michelle Obama's education campaign to inspire more kids to go to college. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so first, I will show you the backpack design I designed for safety. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, okay. So, Mindy, why is this so special? Okay, I'll show you. So, this is the front uh, design of the backpack, and it opens from the back. So, it's safe and secure for kids to carry. The inspiration comes from when I carry on, uh, when I was riding the subway and walking on the street, and people, my friends keep telling me they get pickpocketed or their wallet gets stolen, and I wanted to come up with the idea the backpack opens from the back, so your backpack is fully protected, your belonging is also fully protected, so nobody can touch your things inside. And I also created another lock on the outside, so it's a double protection for the design. So let's hear it from Andy, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, I created the uh, inside as the yellow color because I feel like yellow is a positive, energetic color to... I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for wearing the yellow tie, Mr. Ravi. Uh, and, uh, and I also created another label called a Go For Your Dream inside. So once the girls, they are uh, carrying this backpack, they feel empowered and inspired to not afraid to go for their dream. So that's the design of the backpack. Thank you so much. Thank you.
you. Uh, so I think creating safety and innovation is extremely important for young girls out there. And I would like to thank my coach from Chinese Olympic team in swimming, Coach He Xin Zhong, for inspiring me to work hard and to do my best at all times. I'm the volunteer translator for the Chinese Olympic team in swimming, and I'm extremely honored to work with the best of the best uh, around the world. And Anybody watch Kung Fu Panda here? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I found my master Shifu in the um, Chinese Olympic team. So I encourage you guys to find a great mentor that are going to help you in your industry and go up, ask for them. And my design is also supported by Martha Stewart, Joanna Coles, and Wes Moore. And you might ask, how do you find these people? You follow them on Twitter, and sometimes they have events uh, they're hosting or book signing. You chase after them. <laughs> <laughs> you go there, and uh, you chase after them. You introduce yourself to them. Uh, do not be afraid. I was in your seat exactly five and a half months ago, and I chased after Mr. Ravi after our meeting uh, on Tuesday. So that's why you have to not be afraid to speak up about the issues in your country and not afraid to go for your dreams. If you want to become president, run office, run for office. We're rooting for you. We're here for you. We're here to support you. If you want to be the CEO of Fortune 500 company, do it. We're here to help you. We're here to support you. If you want to change the STEM industry, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, we are here for you. We are here to support you. Stop trying so hard to fit in into the popular groups or anything like another panelist uh, mentioned, uh, so when, when you were born to stand out, okay, you guys are different. You guys are the only and the only one, the first, the number one of your industry, and you guys will be. And we expect you guys to be. Surround yourself with positive people. You want to lead, lead by example, by becoming number one in your industry, by becoming the champion of the sports, science, law, uh, politics, anything you want. I strongly encourage local communities to create more jobs for women and for also for equal pay, obviously, and encourage more women to take charge of their lives, to become entrepreneurs, to be, be their own boss, and to do the job what you love. Because if you don't have the passion for your job, you're just doing nine to five, or uh, this is a job my parents want me to do, um, don't do that. I think it to, it's important to find your passion, the love you have in your job to impact other people's lives. And also get more media and press to cover uh, women, what they're doing, so people are aware what uh, these young women, youth, the young people are making the difference in the world. And we are, help you, we are here to help you to achieve your dreams. And enough silence. And sometimes we need to speak up about the issues we have in the society. Because if you don't speak up, you are the youth delegate from your country. You don't speak up, who else will? Why are you here today? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I will tell a small story from the Chinese Olympic team. We were training in Melbourne uh, last year. And one time the Australian coach asked the athletes, say, who want to be on the Olympic team representing your country uh, to compete in Rio this year? And out of more than 30 athletes, only four people raised their hand and no one from China. And that's really silence from the coaches and the coaches were uh, very mad because they said why are why else are you here stopping stop wasting other people's time if you don't have the uh, dream the mental to become champion why are you here and one of the coaches was like if you don't even um want to become Olymp in the Olympic team, then why training here in the afternoon? Don't even bother coming. So you guys have to, obviously that's, uh, I'm just saying it, but uh, um, you guys have to realize you have to speak up about your dream and dream out loud, say it out loud. So people know 
uh, your dreams. Otherwise, uh, how can we else help you to reach your dreams, right? Yeah. So, thank you. Uh, I will end with um, one of my idols, Steve Jobs' quote, the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. So go out and change the world. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you very much. And our final remark. <laughs> uh, I think speak up about the issues you care about because many issues you guys care about, that your friends, your family also care about, and many others also experience the same thing. And um, the society needs to stop pretending everything is okay while it is not. So you need to be the voice of your country to speak up. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Mandy Wu. I'm a teen girl bag designer and I will first show you my safety backpack that's featured on Michelle Obama's education campaign to inspire more kids to go to college. So this is the safety backpack I designed. Uh, and uh, this opens from the back. So it's, so it's a safe and secure for girls to carry when they're on the street or on the school. So they are 100% fully protected. You cannot access from outside. So you, when you are riding on the subway, in the school, uh, on the street, uh, your belongings are 100% fully protected. So that's the design of the safety backpack. Thank you. And I want to like, spread the positive energy of the world. So I created the lining as a yellow color because the color is a yellow sunshine color. So create a more positive world. And inside, I create a label called Go For Your Dream. So when girls are carrying this backpack, they feel empowered and inspired to go for their dream, to have the courage to speak up about the issues they have in their community. To answer Shuri's question, uh, I think uh, become good examples and uh, to help others, that's the uh, main goal of our young entrepreneurs and the social entrepreneurs. And um, uh, if we can show the slide, uh, the first slide, please. I spoke at United Nations Youth Assembly, and my design was also featured in Microsoft Roundtable event as a, one of the top young entrepreneurs. And also it was supported by Martha Stewart, Joanna Coles, Wes Moore, and more. So I encourage you guys, don't be afraid to reach out to your idols and to the ones you look up to because they would love to hear your inspiring stories to inspire more girls, more youth, more women to go for their dreams. I'm also a volunteer translator for the Chinese Olympic team in swimming. Anybody watch the Olympic game this year? Oh. Yeah. So I would like to especially give a, a big shout out to my coach from the Chinese Olympic team in swimming, Coach He Xingzhong, for always inspiring me to do my best at all times. Uh, that's why I'm wearing the team t-shirt today to represent China and also as a young designer to help more others to go for their goals. And I would like to also present you the behind the scene heroes, the coaches, the doctors, the researchers. They are also supporting our gender equality SDG 5 to achieve more gender equality in sports, in Olympic games. So I encourage you guys to help more other people and other young kids to achieve their dream. We're all here to help you because without these heroes, the athletes wouldn't be able to become champions. And we are all here to help you, to support you, to become the president, to become the CEO of Fortune 500 company, to become the top of your industry because that's how you lead by example. And you show other people it can be done and we are all here to help you to succeed. Thank you so much, Mengdi. Um, so go after your dreams. Don't be afraid to reach out to the bigger celebrities, share your work with them. You never know. Uh, and we wish you 
more success in your endeavor, Mengdi. Use the mic, please. My name is um, Ancha, and I'm from Madison, Wisconsin. My question was, um, with the person who had the backpack, what inspired you to make it? Thank you so much for your question. Uh, thank you so much for your kind question. Um, so the inspiration comes from the people I see on the street, and when I carry um, my regular backpack, when I ride the subway, it gets tend to get very crowded. And when I uh, I wanted to create a backpack that is safe and secure for girls to carry, so when you read a book or use your cell phone on the crowded in a crowded place, you have you feel the safe travel, you feel the safety when you are not paying attention. You don't need to keep touching. A backpack to make sure the zipper is closed or like worrying about the things falling out on the street and that's from my personal experience so thank you so much for your kind question thank you yeah. and Mengdi my suggestion would be inter competitions because that's how I got started. I won 5,000 RMB, that's about $750 from Coach Hong Kong. It's a design tote bag competition, and that's how I got my initial funding. So I encourage you guys, if you want to become entrepreneurs, you enter pitch contests, competitions, submit your work to editors, and I would stay up like 3 a.m. in the morning to send my work to Team Vogue editors, uh, 17 editors, and that's how I work, uh, how my work got on to these magazines. So um, you guys are hardworking, smart, uh, young leaders. So you guys definitely will succeed, and we are he here to help you succeed. Thank you.